Hey, what's up out there on the tube? How y'all doing? What it be? What it look like? I'm just popping in here real quick because everybody keep telling me to do them little quick skit videos. Y'all know I don't do no real cook down. This is my real raw, straight up shooting from a cell phone on top of the stove, doing what it do, y'all. So y'all already know how I get down, how I turn around, how I get back up. No, so let me stop being silly. Anyway, y'all, this is one of my quick little one pot meal that got maybe three ingredients and the stuff doesn't cost too much money all right i got some steamed broccoli this came from aldi's for a dollar i got some um smoked sausages these are like well, i think it's like 2.99 at walmart 2.98 all right this here was about four dollars oh this is the bomb i want to give a shout out to Doug, cooking with Doug. I got this from him, and I've been watching him a long time. I still got to get me a spurtle. That's a good tool he used, and I still ain't got me one yet. All right. Also, some quick potatoes in there. A little bit of olive oil to get a little crisp to it. And then I got my healthy balanced butter that I'm going to, you know, pop in there just to give that a little buttery taste. And then I got my, what I do is I use, you know, when I cook, I do a lot of fresh vegetables as well. But you know with vegetables, if you don't use them up, you got to freeze them or they're gone. So, I, and I like freezing my stuff too. Fr fresh is best, but frozen gets it done too. So in my bag here, I got up uh, chopped up green peppers. I got a lot of red onions. I also have sweet onions and regular yellow onions mixed in here. So this is my little do da day um, get down that I throw together anytime um, I want to freeze up my, my vegetables. Now sometimes I've had it where I had it in um, separate bags, you know, all peppers, all onions, but I sometimes I throw together and mix when I got some of the stuff that seems like it's going bad a little quicker. And then a lot of times I may buy the stuff real quick at the store already pre-mixed together. Y'all know how it is. I hope everybody's doing good out here. And I'm going to tell you, like I said before, people are not paying attention to the real message out here. People are not understanding all of the message of what God is saying to us. And I'm not trying to act like I'm saved because I can fall tomorrow and I'm going to get back up. But I'm just trying to share with y'all what I learn every day. It's not just about your family. God says, honor thy neighbor. And I'm not saying everybody got good neighbors and stuff, y'all, because I got some folks that tried to turn up a little something that had nothing to do with me. I was just simply going out to my vehicle, and one person came up, and they were talking, okay. Then they had to bring up something else, and the other one heard something and didn't understand what it was. I have nothing to do with that. I have no beef. I don't bother with nobody. And I, you know, simply said something to both of them, and I went on there, and I ain't been to nobody cookout, none of that. I'm not saying that I'm a funny acting person, but I'm very private. I know how to get down. I know how to behave myself. I don't wish nobody no harm. I just don't roll like that. It used to be back in the days, I remember, like when folks get out the hospital, even when you have a baby, the woman rides in the back seat with the baby, and pe people bring you casserole, the neighbors from blocks down and the blocks over and all that old good stuff. Nowadays, you can't even do that no more because people are so caught up with the worldly things opposed to what we need to do to get into heaven and to keep having those decent things that we like. I mean, the spirit and stuff is more important than material things, but we do need those things in our lives. But anyway, I told both of them I pray for you, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. They don't call me out because y'all know me, but you don't know me, meaning I ain't never done nothing to nobody. So don't misunderstand nothing because you arguing with one and I'm talking to somebody that just said hi. Yeah, don't, don't get it twisted. I'm not the one for that either. I don't play them kind of games like that. But anyway, um, I just want everybody to understand what the message is out here. The real deal is we are all brothers and sisters. We all have to look out for one another, but folks don't seem to want to get that right. It's not just about your family. Please listen to me. It's not just about your family. It's how you treat people, just like with patients. A lot of people think they master patience, but it's not just about being patient because sometimes you can't control that, but it's how you act while you're waiting for whatever it is. Anyway, you see in the pot here. Now, I got some kibaskas in there, which I showed y'all, the smoked beef kibaskas. I got some broccoli, I got some potatoes, I got some um, onions and peppers in there, and this is just a one pot meal that I'm going to have, and I got different green onions and peppers in there, y'all, and also our day of love is coming up. I try not to be too much into holidays deeply, but I celebrate and I love, but I know the real purpose, and sometimes I wish I never started getting into the holidays because sometimes people get a mixed message and they think it's all about the material and the show off and this that and the do da da but anyway yes you know it's coming up for the month of love isn't that cute 
Yeah, this is a little heart thing that we had buying different family members. We're going to put little trinkets and stuff in it. I think we ordered some of this stuff from Target or either Walmart. Just a heart. I can't show it to y'all right because my dexterity stuff is kicking in. But yeah, this is the month for love. And like I said before, y'all, is how we all treat one another. And we have to get another understanding about people that's going through something. If you ever notice, and I'm not trying to disrespect nobody, anybody can, you know, naturally get hooked on a drug, make a choice to get on the drug or whatever have you. But a lot of times people don't deliberately want to be a drug addict or alcoholic. A lot of times it stems from childhood issues and also it stems from um, different stuff with mental health. And it just happens to a lot of people. And then some people, you don't have to have had nothing bad happen to you. Just tried the wrong thing and didn't know your addictive personality. Also, we all need to know what we have in our genes so that when we are out here in the world experimenting, we know. Because see, people always oh, yeah, we got high blood pressure. We got diabetes in our family. You got more than that, honey. You got the alcoholic gene, the, the, the crack gene. The hate gene, the this gene, there's a lot of stuff that follows. And then some people are totally not anywhere near what their families are. You understand what I'm saying? So it's different strokes for different folks. But I just want to say this, that he didn't bring us this far to leave us hanging. And I don't care what that, and I know it's probably better said than done. But I'm going to tell you, y'all, I am not even giving the testimony. I'm just speaking. I got a lot of some of the worst stuff that could happen to you that's happened to me. And it's going to happen to millions of people coming forward in the past and right now. But what I want to tell you is that my belief is greater than my situation and my circumstances. And I'm working on it. Now I might get on here one day and be upset and crying about the same stuff I said that I'm trying not to do. But that's what it's all about. That's what the walk is all about. The salvation is between you and God. Can't nobody else get saved for you. Y'all already know what I'm saying when I say this. And I'm just holding this um, just so you can look at the food and I can just run my mouth a little bit about this because I'm coming to an inner peace so deep that a lot of people that I deal with in my life can't deal with me because I'm not with it. And I ain't gonna lie, I get mad, I curse, I act a fool. And what I do is I try to repent and turn myself around so that I won't block my blessings. And, and people don't realize that just because you got somewhere to live and you doing all right, rather it's wealthy, middle class, that doesn't mean God loves you more than somebody somewhere starving outside homeless. That doesn't mean God loves you more because you didn't get sick and somebody else got sick with this big old thing we got going on in the world. It's what's meant for you. And until we understand what our chosen path is, we are never going to be able to understand the clarity of what he is trying to do for us. And that's what I keep saying to folks. We have to pull it together. We have to do better than this. And, and what better way to do it if you are on a big old platform like this, whether you're small, I'm tired of all this, oh, who's got a smaller channel, Who got, I don't care, really, and it's not about being rude or saying it, but people need to stop that, because see, I'd rather be loved by five people than a million if it's not real, also, a lot of people that out here that got some of the richest things, and you know, you ever notice, why was Jesus born in the manger, just think about it, Lord of Lord, King of Kings, why was he born in the manger? There is a method to the madness. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to put this heart down so y'all can look at it and give you a better view of it. Isn't that cute?